Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Nyanandra Shanmugam. In this video, I'm going to show you how we are going to edit the PDB structure from multiple chains to single chain, how to extract the chains as well as ligands. So before make, before going to video, please make sure that you like this video and subscribe my channel and please click on that bell icon for further video notifications. Okay, let's jump into the video now. So let's take this protein 1SHR. So that's an uh, human hemoglobin A2, so which is bound with ferrocyanide. Uh, structure derived, it's a crystal structure. So if you can look into this, we can here we can see that it is having two chains, chain A and C, as well as chain B and D. So it's uh, made up of four chains. And if you look into the ligand details, we have here like an heme structure, so which is seen in both in all the four chains A, B, C, D. This is the heme structure. Apart from heme structure, this contains of uh, iron, Fe, as well as cyanide ion. So cyanide ion is seen on A, B, C, D chains, as well as heme is seen on A, B, C, D chains, and Fe is seen on A, B, D ch chains. So now let's see how we are going to separate these chains into like say for example i need to have only a chain so when you download the structure you will be having all the four chains but in the case of my example i need to have only a chain for for, for my further studies like docking further studies so here let's download the pdb file so we'll be having a pdb file which is downloaded here so in the downloads, we will have the structure. So which will be in a small format. So as soon as you open that structure, so here we can visualize that structure. So you can see that this structure is having four chains with four him groups. So color it according to chain. So you can see the four chains. So four chains is having four ion atoms for heme groups with cyanide atoms and all. So in this case, I need to extract only one chain with heme group bound to that. So let's see how we are going to do that. So first let's take the protein a PDB file, right click it. open with any one text document i'm using edit plus so here you can see that coordinate file so in this you can see that the first line is of an oxygen storage transport and the structure details and all so let's come quickly that so if you come down you can see that atom so this is the place where your protein starts the coordinate structure starts from and you can see here so this is the first atom and valine is the first amino acid on A chain. So this is the A chain and a amino acid number. So all together is often valine one in A chain. Next is often leucine followed by serine, proline, etc. So like that you can see here it starts from one. So it's not necessary that all, all the time the protein will start with first amino acid. In some cases the protein cannot form in crystal while during making a crystal experiment the structure cannot be formed so the protein can start from 15th amino acid or a 20th amino acid it depends upon the protein which you are going to see so in this case we are having from first amino acid itself so that's often valine one so let's select from here and if you scroll down quickly so it it's around like 140 amino acids you can see here termination that's often first chain is ending here and next uh, next one is of in B chain subsequently so let's copy this and I'm going to make a new file and I'm going to paste it here so now we have only a chain so now let's go for that protein original file and if you scroll down at the end of fourth chain at the end of fourth chain you can see here this is the important one so this so this implies that the chain is terminated there and now we have an hetero atoms like we can see here cn is of n cyanide and fe is of n iron and heme group on a chain 
so until hn you can select this and just copy this and paste at the last line of this protein so you will be having all the content of hn so until here hn amino acid residues and excess of an cyan group uh, cyanide group ion group and heme group seen in your protein so now let's save this to view as of n now let's save this and we, we can view this in ras mode so while saving it's very important that file save as from the desktop i am going to save in a folder called ras mode so here it's very important that save this file in double quotes so heme a chain dot pdb so you can mention that and it's very much that it should be in double quotes and save the structure so once you save the structure in in the small folder i can have that structure so now double click that and open your rasmol and you can see your structure so this is your single chain protein with its ligand bound to that so if you don't want to if you don't want the ligand you can just simply cut the ligand in your pdb file and you can work further thank you for watching please subscribe and press the bell icon for more video updates thank you see you in next video